It's a monster storm, possibly a once-in-a-lifetime storm. Over the next several hours, it's only going to get worse. This water is rising all the time. This is pretty serious wind. We, we are feeling Florence. And it's just going to get worse and worse. Hurricane Florence was well forecast as far as uh, coming in this direction. Hurricane Matthew hit us almost exactly two years earlier with a lot of flooding post-hurricane. We have a safe house for victims of domestic violence and sexual assault. At the time, we had four women and seven children staying with us. We decided we would evacuate. We contacted temp agencies to line up additional staff personnel in, in case we needed them. Uh, product we had staged as well as water and ready to eat meals. There's uh, tents in the air. You can feel it. You can almost taste it the closer it gets. Here in Robinson County, we're one of the poorest counties in North Carolina, so it's hard to prepare sometimes when you don't have the money. We were all a little bit concerned about the damage that was going to happen down in eastern North Carolina because it was a little personal to me because it affected uh, an area that was close to my hometown. I wanted to start a hurricane relief fund at the Foundation for the Carolinas that helped. My son asked me at two years old how he came to this world in a hurricane. Scared the hell out of me. The night before, I got everything prepared for the hurricane, and I really believe that it wasn't going to affect me because I was on the second floor. I was trying to stay calm from one of my neighbors. We were both pregnant at the same time. She was freaking out and I said to her, everything's gonna be okay, I'm here for you. While the storm was here, I was out helping people and the adrenaline was going real fast and everything. So I really didn't have time you know, to think about what was going on here at my house. And I kept saying, I think that we need to go. And he said, I'm not leaving. I said, I can't leave you here. If something happened to you, I would, I would be devastated. We waited too long. We couldn't get out because it's flooded at the bridge. Drove up on a high area and parked. And we spent the night in our car, um, which was kind of scary. It was like five o'clock in the morning. I called my neighbor and he came to pick up my kids and we just rushed out and then the rest of my roof collapsed through the whole entire house. About midday, Coast Guard came and said, y'all all have to leave. And I said, I'm trying to get enough stuff in one bag. He said, why? And I said, well, the other guy said that I could only take one bag. And he was funny, he said, ma'am, I'm the captain of this ship, and you can take as much as you want to. They had to pick me up and put me in the helicopter. I don't walk that good, which was really scary. She screamed the whole way. From there to we landed. You know, life is, is very precarious, especially where we live. It's beautiful most of the time, but it's very dangerous. understand what it's like to lose everything you have. Furniture and stuff like that can be replaced, but there's so much that can't. When I returned here, I found 
The floors on the inside of the house were all filled with water. The floors were buckled up. There was mildew starting to grow on the walls. People are used to coming to United Way for assistance, and we're here to meet our citizens' most pressing needs. After the storm, those needs were accessing clean water and the basic necessities. We had a nonstop flow of people in our office. Do you have water? Do you have staple items? Do you have food that we can eat without electricity? We didn't have electricity either. We set up shop outside and, and we posted signs uh, at intersections and we offered water, food, anything. We were doing an excess of 90,000 pounds of food out of our doors a day. Within the first 14 days of response, we have distributed well over a million pounds. Everywhere that we were, water was the problem. You couldn't get your equipment in to do the work, and that was weeks afterwards. I contacted the shelter because I knew that they were going to open up some type of doors. I met a couple women that came to the shelter. We all had children. We were all scared, and we made it. We recovered. That was the best part of the whole matter. because we're getting ready to do a holiday party for the children and the families who are still in motels. We reached out to the Foundation of the Carolinas. Our hope was that we could bring some real Christmas joy to those families. Trying to have a Christmas is going to be different because what I had planned is not going to be the same because I had to utilize my funds to get somewhere to go. And I'm very appreciated for tonight because nobody didn't have to pitch in and do this. We were very fortunate that the Foundation for the Carolinas were able to help us recover from this. The funding that helped us with any additional medical needs that we had with all of these animals that we were trying to help. When we went down to Lumberton, we met with an officer, Greg Moore. The thing that struck me about him was he was so selfless. Even though his home was damaged, he wasn't concerned about it. He was out helping others. United Way of Robinson County, they have been here every step of the way to help. They are helping out with the contractor who's actually putting the floors back, the walls and everything like that. I'm excited. I'm really excited. You know, I'm ready to come back home. Hope is everything, it's all they have left. Hearing all the names of the individuals that contributed to this fund, from so many of the famous uh, individuals uh, to the smallest child that was empty in a piggy bank, all I can do is say thank you. We were able to give as much love and support to them because of all those donors, allowing us to be on the front line and be that hero.
We are the Carolinas. We have faith. We restore. We reconnect. We renew. We respond. We recover. We rehabilitate. We rebuild. We are resilient. We, we are, are the Carolinas. Carolinas.